Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our part in all ways that are lawful, correct, and positive. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Give thanks and praise. Shamai, Sharala, Amuha, Allah Hayanawa, Pwa Akad. Shamai, Awak, Hawa, Allah Hayanawa, Hawa Akad. Yeah, man, this is our shamatic tongue. It's ours. Yeah, man. Peely American. Anyway, we are a world citizen government. And this is their blog and update, you know. And people can find it at the world citizen gov dot org dot org. There's a lot of misinformation about this. It has a organization. This association. However, let's just look and see what this thing I deal with. It has a, the rights, the right to peace, 73rd anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. So this thing I deal with the human rights, the world citizen government I deal with human rights. Yeah, man. Pandemic of racism, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network and that network is the commercial network that commercial matrix so people can choose to put all kind of spin and twist on it the moment you engage in a commerce Then you are governed by the creators of these commercial system. It's not a creation of the divine. It's a creation of man. The man, the theft, and the guru. So you say people can choose for check out this platform here and us have a view you know what i mean scarcity or abundance davis and goliath and you know davis uh gary davis that are the brethren were kind of you know bring forth this thing forward so the problem with my people is that them like when people tell them for come here and tell them for go there and tell them to do this and tell them to do that and lead them all over the place and they'll never experience what freedom is then they know you know wait and tears and if You're not a famous YouTuber with a lot of whistles and bells. You know what I mean? Then 
Your voice will go unheard. However, consistency is a key. And we stay true to the basic fundamental of step by step, one step at a time. So people can choose, you know, and this is just one area. God, there's a world passport.org where we probably can look at. Yeah, man, know your rights. You know what I mean? Oh, this is something we can look at and just jump in. And you have so much different options here where people can choose for check out this platform and you know. Cause you talk about the boy up on the earth. And them glass over the earth with this world. So we're all in this world, naturally. Should human rights be decentralized? These are the topics, you know. Human rights, not just Indian rights. You get me? H-U-E hyphen M-A-N, human rights. You understand? Yeah, man. So this is what we are talking about when we are saying about options, you know? Read that one, yeah. Pandemic of racism. <laughs> Pandemic of racism. Author David Gallup. Published June 25th. Injustice anywhere is a threat to injustice everywhere we are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single <laughs> garment of destiny you hear them words yeah you hear them style it whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly and this is a letter from Martin Luther King, you know? Yeah, when Martin Luther King did die in a jail, people. You hear what I just said? This is a letter from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. when he was in jail. Lock up. You know what I mean? How many lives has been extinguished by the pandemic of racism? Like a biological virus, racism is spread from person to person by what people teach and say to their family members and friends. It's spread by ignorance and nurtured by hatred and indifference. Unlike a biological virus, racism immediately affects everyone who is targeted and leaves indelible lifelong wound. Generational wounds, you know? Yeah, man. Racism does not only become lethal in the hands of those who inhabit the halls of power and privilege. Racism resides throughout society. The world has been built on inequality, xenophobia, and oppression. This is what I'm called colonization. You understand? This world has been built on inequality, xenophobia, and oppression. And I say this, this is what is called colonization. Racism has been institutionalized and systemized 
the system of exclusive nation state has further exasperated structural violence and cycles of discrimination. The foundations that humans have used to construct our world are unequal and unstable. The world that is our own is feeling much of its inhabitants. The entire house will fall if we do not return to the drawing board to design and build an inclusive and just foundation. Yeah, man, we cannot listen. We like all the part yeah. When I say inclusive, that not mean Saboa we cannot be distinctive. It doesn't mean that. It means I can choose to be who I am, yet I am a part of, you know, the whole same way, irrespective of how I choose to stay. As long as I now bring the earth and the arm to no one. And we all know Saboa is self preservation. You know what I mean? It's one of the highest, you know, standard of man. What is the antidote to racism? If we want to have a world that works for everyone, we need to teach children from infancy not only the principles, but also the practices of inclusion, empathy, listening, sharing respect equality and justice straight across the board them think they are free will choice these lessons must not end when youth end adults must continually educate themselves and be cognizant of how their words and actions impact those around them even now you have to be cognizant of these things Stopping racism requires a holistic approach. Racism must be recognized and eliminated from every aspect of society. Stopping racism requires us to question how we are running our world. Is our competitive econom economic and political system that pits human against human groups, against groups, ethical? And I'll ask that question again. Is our competitive economic and political system that pits human against human, groups against groups, is this system an ethical system? I don't think so. How we govern ourselves or neglect to govern our world inordinately affects people due to their race and ethnicity. <coughs> the hyper-nationalistic and corporate control of human and natural resources embeds, embeds racism in the wheels of production, consumption, and day-to-day -day existence. Again, the hyper-nationalistic and corporate control of human and natural resources embeds racism in the wheels of production consumption and day-to-day -day existence we are taught to see our fellow human as others against whom we must compete and oftentimes fight for supremacy rarely are we taught let alone encouraged to practice how to be allies 
of one another rather than competitors. That's because the agents them of commerce won't allow the common people to be, you know what I mean, to become, to organize themselves without outside coercion. There's always someone trying to influence you away from your destination. Rarely are we taught, let alone encouraged, to practice how to be allies, meaning how to unite with one another rather than a compete with, e with each other. I have someone who said them do a thing for 10 years, 15 years, 25 years, 30 years. And you come along looking and I said, then we all at this time wasting about. Are you not free? But that way, put what I'm call a wrench. In a them circular language, them circular teaching, them circular whatever it is but keep you going round and round in circle. You get me? Where is the entrance to freedom? Where is the entrance to freedom? Oh, we not talk about being free. A holistic approach to stopping racism takes into account the health of humanity and the earth. It will ensure that our rights and duties are universally respected. We don't have that right now. And it will seek equality and justice in all aspects of human to human interaction, as well as human to earth interaction. Education must be just, not this Prussian form of learning. Societal opportunities and outcomes must be just. Economics must be just. Politics must be just. Governmental representation must be just. Laws or bylaws, their enforcement and their adjudication must be just. The laws that we create help determine how we will interact with each other. Racism and discrimination are outlawed in many national and international codes of conduct. For example, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Universal Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous or Aborigine People affirm the principles of equality and justice. The preamble and article 1, 2, and 26 of the Universal Declaration on Human Rights affirms everyone's equality and right to be free from racism. Article 2 specifically states Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration without distinction of kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth, or other status. Everyone is entitled to all their divine fundamental rights and freedoms set forth in the declaration the the you know, sir, the unanimous declaration not not just united 
yeah man but this is the official international it has a document this is an international law you get me yeah man declaration universal declaration of human rights yeah man un united nation declaration on the rights of indigenous listen people persons you understand and what does persons mean yeah man however so we as man know say we are aborigines we do have rights so without exception or distinction every man is entitled to all the rights and freedom set forth in this declaration without distinction of any kind such as race color sex language religion political or other opinion national or social origin property birth or other status so all of this right the preamble and article 8 and 46 of the hundred reiterated the anti-discrimination principles of the UDHR that is the same human rights declaration The preamble states that all doctrines, policies, and practices based on or advocating superiority of peoples or individuals on the basis of national origin or racial, religious, ethnic, or cultural differences are racist, scientifically false, legally invalid, morally condemnable, and socially unjust article 8 2e specifically states states shall provide effective mechanism for prevention of and redress for any form of propaganda designed to promote or incite racial or ethnicity or ethnic discrimination all right so you see all them thing you know it's like we are we are say boy what's your we can look out there as no say boy you know we are one people up on the earth but because of our free will when we, what we see everybody i do and i participate in and i partake in we not choose to get involved you have a set of people will just do not choose to participate do not choose to either say assimilate or even integrate yet it means uh, you know they're at odds you understand it only means that uh, they might choose not to engage in other worldly affairs but the things of the world are just that of the world yeah man so them thing are our free will choice and we can coexist harmoniously with all other living systems that is cognizant of such. Yeah, man. So it says states, including the government of Jamaica, shall provide effective mechanism for prevention of and redress for any form of propaganda designed to promote or incite racial or ethnic discrimination. The problem is not the lack of laws against racism. It is how and whether those laws are implemented. When the institutions of society and government do not fairly represent anyone in the community, then the laws will not be implemented fairly or at all. Laws, in the end, will never be enough to stop racism we need to protest for change listen 
and be allies unify for change learn and educate for change vote for change and run for office for change now we know sir when you must run for office and these things are political you understand and if the political system is just one system and have different different branches of that system competing against each other then we choose not to participate free will we need to run on a platform of building an ethical and inclusive social and governmental system for the world this means creating a just system and an equitable justice system. One that does not treat some people lesser and others as better or above the law. To have a peaceful, free and sustainable world. It must be a just world. As citizens of the world. We are all directly responsible for rooting out injustice anywhere and for seeking justice for everyone, everywhere. Yeah, man, all lives matter. You get me? All lives matter. And then people have free will to choose if they want to do good or if they want to do evil. What's your volition? What's your intent? Which one of you don't have no sin? You throw them stone there. You who have no sin. You who are as white as snow, who are spotless. Throw your stone. Where are our options? Where are our alternatives? Free will is just that, people. Yeah, man. Free will. So why we are behave like say, boy? We now have options. It's because we have all of this destruction. Yeah, man. Scarcity or abundance. Let's see what this has said. David Gallup again. Arthur. Scarcity or abundance. The COVID-19 virus is not the first pandemic to seriously impact humanity. Nor will it be the last. This global crisis and ex existential threat existential threat that means that boy our whole existence is on the threat provides an opportunity for human as a species to determine how we will interact with each other on the earth from now on we can choose to coordinate you get me interdependent and holistic approach or we can continue haltingly and in vain to deal with global issues selfishly in an ungoverned world beyond a nationalistic strategy a virus that impacts everyone necessitate a world citizen focused response that means that uh, we as earth people have to come together to respond to this thing the world health organization who is a un agency attempting to coordinate effort of national government in their response to the pandemic 
while structures like the World Health Organization encourage local governments to heed their policies recommendation, they have no power to enforce these suggested courses of action. National government may arbitrarily refuse to follow those guidelines within their self-imposed borders. National government do what is in their self-interest or that of their leaders economic and political priorities human made borders we have realized do very little to contain a virus in a free world in its proposed 2020 and 2021 budget the world health organization will receive almost five billion dollars from un member states that is a minuscule amount of money compared to the $2 trillion that national governments spend preparing for and waging wars every year. Not only is the World Health Organization underfunded, but also national health institutions like the Center for Disease Control and Prevention and the National Institute of Health are severely underfunded in comparison to the life-saving work that they are doing. It's not a question of whether the world has the resource and funds to support the health and well-being of all human and the earth. It is a question of priorities. National leaders frequently appeal to the security to the security concerns of citizens in expanding military budget while ignoring the impact that poor health and environmental degradation has on these same citizens. They argue about scarcity. Limited funds and resources should be directed at national military defense rather than healthcare, sustainable development, and ecological conservation, to the detriment of all national self-defense, supersede defense of people and planet, to the detriment of all national self-defense, supersedes defense of people and planet, again, to the detriment of all national self-defense that national security act supersedes defense of people and planet scare city not just scarcity in times of crisis individuals began to act begin to act in panic mode they become self-absorbed thinking only about self preservation this is understandable because fear and protection of oneself and one's family are strong motivators of behavior perceived scarcity have created real scare cities people living in state of fear the individual behaves like a mini nation state setting up borders, raising their self interest above all other concerns and fending off those they perceive as a threat. This selfish mentality has presented itself in the hoarding of toilet paper, sanitizer, and most importantly, medical supplies that first responders, healthcare workers, and hospitals desperately need. To help everyone through this crisis, local government should establish a voucher system to assist those who have no salary or income. And there should be total loan forgiveness on, ne on necessities like groceries, medical supply, housing and education. Governments could easily provide digital or physical vouchers to everyone each month to pay for necessities. It just means that we need to change priorities from using money to wage war and build walls 
to using money to pay for <laughs> living rate. Tools that support and, and, and enhance all life form. Abundance. Resources are abundant in the world. We can feed, close, house, educate and provide for every human being on the planet. But only if we choose to use and share resources sustainable to help people and protect the earth. Instead of building weapons like warplanes and nuclear bombs, funds and resources must be redirected to advancing both earth and human health as well as environmental and human rights. Currently, less than half of the world's production population has universal health coverage. Less than half of the world's population has universal health coverage. Why well, I me mean, I tell you the same people we want to cover you for the health that the same people will make you sick. So them first make you sick and then them come with a plan for it. You know? Cover your health. You know say Cost. It's crazy. Global institution devoted to the rule of law, such as the World Court of Human and Environmental Rights and the World Peace Force, should replace the wastefulness of vast national armies. Think how much humanity could do to ensure healthcare and safe infrastructure for everyone on the planet with the two trillion dollars that national governments spend annually on waging wars. Our future to implement global approach to global crisis will inevitably lead to a higher debt toll from wars, pandemics, and climate change. How many deaths will occur if we fail to implement our coordinate global system? Moreover, the human response to this crisis must not be about saving any one economy. It must be about saving individual lives, humanity, and the earth as a whole, not just your commercial economic system. Human and earth survival are interconnected naturally. We must develop a human and earth consciousness as well as a governing system that matches this holistic awareness in order to prevent humanity's extinction. What we do now will determine our fate. How seriously will we take our responsibility as world citizens, as people inhabiting and existing on this earth toward each other and the earth? That is a test of our humanity. Give thanks, sir. Yeah. So you see, me discover, sir, me go all about the place. And when me go all about the place, me say everybody have them little private groups and them little thing and them do them thing. But me I tell you, sir, this World Service Authority organization has been here. From you know, from before nineteen sixty four and sixty five, when we have the so called civil rights movements, why were we redirected? to focus on civil rights and not human rights, where we can look at everybody and show the respect there and command that same respect from everyone else. How we move from being and doing all of these things as free people only forget caught or ensnare or enslave in a foreign 
body politic. Where we are governed by foreign entities, foreign agents, and you know, the same foreign system we are governed with. This is the very same foreign system where I teach with. How to sing, how to feel, how to love, how to hate. The same foreign system I teach with all of these things, people. Yeah, man. But jump on the World Passport website, you have to see it. Just for highlight, because we like shine light on information. We like share information and show people some options, different options. You understand? World passport. The mandate for the world passport is Article 13, 2 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Everyone has the right to leave any country, including one's own, and return to one's country. So when you remove yourself from the locality, then you start function with the international systems. You know what I mean? Them kind of laws that were applied to you as man, you know? Not just some laws were applied to you as a person. Yeah, man. So they might express what this document is. And, you know, the website here, they are long time. The people um, we are run this thing are reputable people. Um. You understand? So when some man has said they need a secondary identification, then what is this? You get me? And it's only the free man or the man who chose to exercise them thing his own way. And when you look on them level, you know, you know, say, boy, you are held to a much higher standard than the norm. Much higher standard than the norm. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. World government document. What is this NK? What is these things about? People can, you know, take a time out and look on these things. You know what I mean? World citizenship defined. What is a world citizenship? The world. Universally outgoing. Conceptually unbounded. The planet. Dynamically. You get me? Synergistically and organically one with itself and the cosmos, that's the world. So, yeah, get your definition, you know. You know, I forgot to look now with the definition citizenship, the respective rights and duty within a given social structure. The two words together seem paradoxical. You can educate either the citizen or the man. Word theos. Yet in their union lies the potential success of the human species. In their non union lies the demise of a fatally flawed creature which could not overcome itself, impose global anarchy 
well that are really everything to do with you on the inside so if you have turmoil inside then you gonna have turmoil outside if you have confusion within then there shall be confusion without this is the perennial mystery of the conceptual joining the perceptual so the conceptual a intercourse with the perceptual and how and where does spirit indwell in the body like them little kind of reader you know and this is what me i try to show people so watch out information is here for people just to take a look and you know what i mean choose you know what i mean and this is just one aspect you have some people now will say yo i feed them thing that then hold on unless need upon the earth and you they are mars that means a boy you're not earthly and the people them will go through the suffering to bring them kind of information and them kind of situation here forward and unnecessarily man like i they get me different ethnicity and phenotype but them are earth man no different man so when you were a racist i come tell me about racism only because you wear glasses you know what i mean i mean i need glasses to see racism the moment you engage in this foreign commercial construct you support racism the moment you entertain colonization you support racism but you can't see it because you wear glasses yeah man so i do step by step more i say what them farm is like World citizenship today implies the joining of the perennial wisdom of mankind with up to the minute geopolitical and geotechnical reality. The term world citizen can be better understood with a negative definition than with a positive one. If a citizen of a state with political frontiers is expected to pay allegiance to the government of the state to which he or she belongs and is expected to take arms against aliens who might invade the territory of the state a world citizen recognizes the entire world as one state and in principle does not recognize any member of one's own species as an alien to the world community to which everyone belong such a person recognize the earth as one's sustaining parent the innate inviolable laws of nature as one's protector all sentient being as one's brother sister and kin and the world without frontiers as one's home that means that we now have no borders the world citizens allegiance is to the foundation of truth the universality of knowledge and the fundamental grounds of all values for them thing they are deal with when you are world citizen it now have nothing to do with no gay thing assisting you get me you can choose to be a state guy or some other state guy you can choose to fund relief them please you get me or you can remove from that thing 
and stand predominant as man. And then you can come together with like mind people. When I'm interested in them racism, when I'm interested in them, you know, misleading theories, we're not an interest. We say we're free, and we say love, and we say we can exist harmoniously with all others. That's our free will choice. So when people are run here and are run there, and are run off their mouth, then, you know, just do your own thing. Because most people we are talking about get them opinion from somebody else. They're not autonomous in them thinking. When I get my world passport from 2012, I look on this thing. You understand? I know, say, boy, this thing is perfect for the rebuttal of any corporate politician. And this thing is duly recognized. So here it is, my common folk, my local folk. The more, the, the more advanced people them is all the way out there. So them will leave you guys behind. Not all of us have any interest. In money like how you guys are put it. Where you, you choose to sell your soul. We don't mind I do without. We're good. We don't have a problem doing without. Them think they are free will choice. <laughs> anyway. We say give thanks for the giving of thanks. And again, we just do a thing. We just step forward and we share accordingly. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I can see if I can. I'm going to like them really. Boy, this site they really change up, you know? And them have all different kind of videos that we share where they yeah, them can look on, you know? But a lot of things there, man. Yeah, man. I'm always like this world passport thing. Now may I get fit like the world citizenship thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, my brethren say I'm a runaway slave. We're not stateless. How can we be stateless? You know what I mean? Yeah, man. We just choose to live harmoniously. Separate on this thing. You know what I mean? Yet, unifying with like-minded people. You understand? We are advocate for freedom, freedom in you know, freedom in. That's all we are dealing with. We are the student here. Totally receptive to learning. Yeah, man. So on that note, we say salute. Give thanks step by step. The brave may fall, but never yield. And we said, bold and brave, firm and strong. <laughs> step by step, people. Step by step. Perfect love. As my good brethren jabi would say yeah man art of love because we not short of love you feel like a commercial money can buy our love it's free man but these people we can resonate on this level and resonate with this kind of love i can recognize it there is no agenda here there is no hidden agenda here. Period. We just want to share the information so people can choose. Choose to be free or choose not to be. 
not to carry people up in some places where when you go about your business, the people are must spin like a gig, lost. We don't have no interest. However, we are not here to be an obstacle for people who choose to exercise their free will. We can never be an obstacle to those people. Yeah, man, we have to respect these people. We have to respect whatever choices people have chose to make. Yeah, man. So here I am again chanting. Who don't like it? You hear that? Here we are chanting. What is the problem? Show me the law or the laws that I am breaking. Show me where I have done you wrong. Point it out. And if you can't, stand down and do your thing. Because I keep telling her talk is cheap. I'm on quick for criticize you and say you're this or you're that or you're not. But these very, very same critics find it hard to look in the mirror. They find it very hard to look in the mirror. But I still looking in mirrors, people. Yeah, man. Come here for your check. Me have to make sure, but I still have to step. Fear not. Fear not. Behold, behold, behold. Yeah, man, I am he, and so are you. Salud, Awak, Aborigine. Salud, Awak, Indian nation in America. Bull and brave. Firm and strong. Yeah, man. Peace. Be still. <laughs> Complete gratitude. Yeah, man. Complete gratitude. With power. Free people. Salute.